at the cross, there's a criminal mocking him. The other criminal says, do not mock this one. This is definitely, uh, there's something about this guy. I can see he's the Lord. He's, he, he's, he's a king. So, so, my Lord, remember me. Amen. Even today, you'll be with me in paradise. What did Jesus mean? We looked at it on Sunday. Amen. They, he, th that man, because he had confessed the Lordship of Jesus, it meant he was saved. In fact, he was one amongst the first few people to be born again, New Testament born again. Amen. Who is it? Matthew 16. Let's it. Does Peter not say you are the Christ, the Son of the living God? So, so Peter was amongst the first people to be New Testament born again. The second one is that criminal, praise God. So why was Jesus in paradise when he died? Because in Ephesians chapter 4 and in Psalm 68, I believe it's verse 8, when Jesus died, he descended into the lower parts, the lower regions. What was he doing? We understood by 1 Peter chapter 4, 6, that the Bible said he preached. I know you've never been taught this, so you are shocked. Those in, in paradise. Because in the Old Testament, it's not possible that But it's illegal for a person to step into heaven. But because they believed in God, God the Father, Jesus had to go down and say, Guys, you are in paradise because you have believed that I am coming. You have believed in God the Father. I believe that I believe I believe that 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 why I said I am victorious. Okay, if you want more, please go to. In First Thessalonians chapter five, the Bible says He will come with a mighty shout, with the sound of an archangel, the voice of an archangel, and a huge trumpet. Iyo 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 yala. Si oso kalide posha. It will come as a thief in the night. People will be drinking. People will be fornicating. People will be busy with the everyday life. God has felt so agale kalit ilongo. Kuku so agale konitet amen. Let's pull my spade out. I see you no chase no. Oh my God! Let it be pain. Abba fell and kosini. My own fuga. And meet him in the air. Satis Babasa Loco. Not his Puma, me. Zio Shamabesana no Cheso. Umuwaku Babuako. Usa Sulem Shabeni. But they died in the Lord. Do not be dismayed. One day we are born. Io Sangana in the clouds. Io Sangana Mafini. Sasuga Negosia to Cheso. Sishona Kale. For those who died in the Lord, do not cry too much. One day you shall get a fin. One day you shall get a fin. I don't care that you love them so much, but they left you and died. One day you shall get a fin. Show Jesse boy. That is the hope we have. That's why the Bible says, "Unga akal jengo muto gena tem." That's why it says, do not cry as those who do not have hope. Why? Because you have a hope. Oh, what you want? Day is one day. We will meet in the clouds. We will meet in the clouds. Oh, glory to Jesus. We will meet in the clouds. Hallelujah. Now that is good news indeed. That is what is called good news. This Sunday, we we'll look at Judgment Day, man. Revelation chapter 20 and 21 called it him. Judgment Day. Let go full of big books. Two books. The first book we are checking is called the book of life. Are you there or are you not? If you are not there, it means you were never born again. Or you were born again, but the umpile languages. Go back to the bona bonk abas in this wabangina. Abas in this wabasabam pile. Basabam pile. Oh, Jess, I love you. I'm just telling you, Lord, what we are harm, which is. There are some people who never get access to a Bible. You'll be the only Bible they'll get to read. Your walk in the office will be preaching to them. Your 
ashes. Praise God. So now I pay a prophecy and say, Oh my, you are in the book of life, hooray. You're not going to the second death. But there's another book that's open. It's the book concerning your life. So one pillar about the wins and get out yet. This is why we said that this is why we don't go around sleeping. Since I oxala, if I see death is near, I'll just repent and then at least I'll go to heaven. Have you ever heard that demonic ideology where people say, No, it's okay. When I see I'm about to die, I'll quickly repent. Eh eh. Little by belly. The things you did in the body, you'll receive. Okay, let's open scripture. I see you don't believe, you don't believe me. Let, let's find out. 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Let, let me find the scripture for you. I don't know why I'm teaching Sunday sermon now. The Lord must deliver me from the love of the word. I need deliverance. Rola Shina ina no siye teli pato lo ho siya te Giza ne 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 zale se te te Jibrate, jibrate Gishane siya Shile li la sule Shila li le si who has networked quickly? Who can borrow me their phone and have networked quickly? I have got the scripture. Thank you so much. 2 Corinthians chapter 5. I am not we are close to the Zunga Shumayel. I'm upside down like a cool because already they are angels and today I need to teach on angels. Nam shanjo zo boni shon. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 10. Now I want you to look at this. Okay, read, you, you can read here. I've got my own screen. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ that each one may receive the things done in the body according to what he has done whether good or The first throne is the one of the book of life. While they were seeing this, on pillar, yebo no makata leko fire yebo imaletele. Kila bage abage bam pillar. Seven genak le salosa spill the judgment seat of Christ, where everyone receives the things done in the body according to what he has done. So if in this body all you did was fornicate. You are now born again. That's beautiful. But you will receive the things you did in your body to your body. Even if you come to repentance, this is what awaits you. But you should the things done in the body that are bad pain. But to even the good. It means if you live a fasted life, there's a certain reward for you. It means if you lived in righteousness, there's a certain crown for you. There are certain perks. There are certain benefits. Who has been on a flight? It's like uh, the economy, the business class and the first class. Personally, I've been in first class. Amen. I've been in first class. Hallelujah. Not 
traveling to Deben, traveling overseas, okay? A couple of times. But I've also been in business class. This talking must stop. I've also been in economy. Okay? I've been in all. Oksala, your weather. And it's one flight, by the way, it's not different flights. Downstairs, it's the normal people economy. Then upstairs, at the back, it's business. Then in the front, puzzle, it's the first class. Oksala Iba no il suga la lie landan. Wedungezant ma pezu no muga pan oksala le landan. So oksala yo song sobe se zuluin after judgment day. So good. Oksala yo sobe si kon. Kota kona ba yo bebe downstairs. Genga ye zenzo. Kona ba yo bebe middle class. Kona ba yo bebe we first class. Minangyaza, mikos yang si zangyaza, mukba first class, bab july. Angfun zang shumele aga. Sengsalak economy not so big, Gazan. Hallelujah, Gazan. But if you have to go to Gantanda, Gafuna Ugunbona, non first class in the air, Zuluin, go to Angfuna Uba economy with some of you. Go and Babo and Emerson's law, he'll make it just by the edge. You're big economy, you're big downstairs, you're born. So Angfun Gatanda, Bob July, what and Fiscuba now economy. Yafuna mina after my labor here on earth, living a righteous life. Inga kule ulo el ulu feze gakube ngati we are going crazy. Elit ba mangazu kuti uyu mama uyinto uya pila je uya pi a a unjo unjwa i I live with about six children in my house. Ake kono yeto ngati ngambone unjo unjwa i. Ake kono I saw a man and yo yo bang kisala upstairs in the army stairs eh. So ake kono ngati gage ngabonu ba be nyugi tapis. Ake kono ake kono. M seven zin bang bang offer you seven million to approve a transaction that was a bribe. That's it ka. Oh, I go bang I ding. Lord knows I ding and I can't I ding. Got a man just ngang a phone. Ben figure la pa. So why we tattle in their bribe? Yes, what all the law means. That's why you are in the plains. Very good, you in heaven. Well done. Why we tattle in? Then I ask the people and they make them go. It's all this cash. I na go dang the phone. The phone was Ben figure la pa. So I wanna leave Kawe. Na min ke ne sangi iti je. We first class. Ginga ne sangi iti je. Iti wow, 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 wow. King and the Saint Kitty Jack first class of women. Get to Jesus. Hallelujah. That's, that's my hope. That's why I bother teaching you guys about this. It's not an, a complete, listen to me, it's not a complete gospel. It goes beyond that. Master says, We're in my levels. So, Pilagashe. Pilagashe. Only this one, I lose zip. Otherwise, you're a big economy. So now, you're a big first class. In God's mailing season. Hallelujah. I'm sure you're a So, on Sunday, we were going to be looking at that mystery. I'm a teacher of the word, a careful teacher of the word. Give me a seat for the Lord. It's not good that I motivate you to, to go to heaven. Gifunu uglanga zelele. That's why in the second coming I had to teach it. Uguzu ilanga zelele. Especially if you have loved ones who died in the Lord. And your heart even hurts even today. Mm-mm. Bayo vuka. Nyoshanga nemafin. Praise God. Okay. The teaching of today is entitled the mystery of angels. I should have began it last week, but last week we had some housekeeping. Praise God. Nanga wushu amen about last week. Nsat dinewe in bo fre. Ni raiti. And dinewe. So last week gain the house cleaning. Ha wa wuku amen. Basa dinew. Basa dinew. Basa dinew. Last week gain the housekeeping. Hallelujah. We need to deal with your heart. It's a yabo when I basement. 
basement. So, so, mele ubusu koli de manch. Gawaba wa koli, there's a serious problem. Book an appointment with me and do counseling sessions. Kem, you serious? Yes, about my budget. You serious? If you swang and bell, you have to correct one. This is precious. In this, you sat in you in a manch. Nangu tobe, a promise is anch. She's my PA. Book an appointment. Who's dead? Who can um zalon a link in Tanda Rabbin comes when I get this trip? Kamala Kubonga or Gamzo. I don't need to dream of her doing bad. She'll come and tell me. Yabon. So now I was just able to, you know what? I have a problem. My heart is a problem. And I see what if by this level in heaven. In fact, I may not even make it to heaven if I don't repent. It's okay. Yabon wants was I hold your hand, I pray with you, I lay my hand on you. Upumu fila so light. There are people who've been beneficiaries of that grace. Ngiseras. But I'm serious. If you still feel you are a bit hurt, you're not okay from that mm, tobacco counseling. Because of Praise God. Today we are looking at the mystery of angels. Amen. Saying this cut. Uh, so I only have about 15 minutes. Today will just be a mere introduction. Then I'll ask we pray. Amen. Once we pray, I want, I, I enjoy pr- demonstration of the preach word. So I like practicals. I can't teach about the gifts of the Holy Spirit and I get to know yet who catches a gift, okay? And I don't want to teach about the ministry of angels and not even one descends an angel, amen. And the reason I say descend an angel instead of see an angel is because angels sing a fundis already. Angels are not just seen, they are descend. Let me make an example. Before I could, you discern angels with your senses, with your five senses, amen. You, with five senses, you discern angels. You can smell angels. You can feel angels, okay? You can hear angels. I, I say this because Abba have encountered angels, but because they thought they just need to see it, they didn't know it's an angel, okay? So you have to discern an angel. I mean, the first time I discerned an angel, I was reading a book, I believe, Ela, Ela Papa Kenneth E. Hagen, one of the generals of God. I think he went to be with the Lord around the year 2000, around there. Old, old white men from USA, lovely men. Uh, he said something to the effect of, if you've never seen an angel, or never heard an angel, or never felt an angel, just say this prayer. It's in his book. I read the prayer and I said, Amen. And I stood, I said, Lord, where is this a-? Before I could finish angel, something touched me here. I was on the floor screaming. So, it, it's going to happen tonight if you wish, okay? Some will see them, it's very good. I, I've only seen an angel once, as in physically. And in short discernment. Already as I'm here in the, in the service, I know there's one that's here. The one that's next to me now is my angel that is assigned for me. Because the ministry I do is very dangerous. Deliverance is a dangerous ministry, so he guards my life, okay? But there are also angels that are here, okay? I, I know it gets confusing to her. The angel, Mshampea Wednesday, uh, it, it's not one angel, amen. There's an angel assigned to kingdom ambassadors as a ministry. There's my personal angel. Then there are different angels depending on what God wishes to do in that service. Do you understand this? So, so some, I know they're here. I can see them. Oh my God, I can see them. There's one here. Amen. But Nisho physically sing it as in, I was wide awake. I saw a big foot. That's my, the angel the Lord assigned to me in this ministry I'm in. I saw a big foot and I knew. The angel I have is big. One person, actually two of them, uh, who once said to me, Nibade, you know you want to a big angel next to me? When I preach, it, it's you. Who else? Somebody else. Elanda, did you? No, it wasn't you. There's a, also a third person. But I always say to them, Bebe Taibo Spone, yes, you are right. Yes, yes. He's literally here. Amen. So you can feel an angel. Some people say smell. I've never smelled an angel. Amen. But some people will say the aroma changes. Nugang at a rose, I'm a flower. Eh, eh, and mm, it smells so nice all of a sudden. Another prophet from Eastern Cape said, Yena, Velen Nugang at his day soft. She's in church, but it smells of his taste off. Then she knows, oh no, I'm no longer alone, okay? But many people, the most common one is to feel it. 
you feel in your body mm, the, the spirits that are here it's no longer just human spirits there's also another spirit which is holy amen not just the holy spirit inside of you but an extra one it's usually the presence of an angel let's do a little introduction short short introduction then we'll pray and ask the lord to assist us why do we not just stand here and say lord can we all descend angels mm -mm, why do we not do this Masos diseni luzo zenzani. Mene wazi what angels are here to do. Once there is understanding in that regard, then you will, whenever you descend an angel, you'll be so excited out of your mind because you know it's time for deliverance, it's time for impartation, it's time for divine instruction or even for a warning. So you get excited and you say, Lord, I can descend your angel. What are you imparting in me? And the Lord will tell you. Praise God. So, let me start this discourse in this fashion. Every kingdom is known by its king. Amen. Every kingdom is known by its king. Do you agree with me? For example, we are called Amazulu because of Shaga Zulu. I forgot to Shaga Wabani, what his father's name is. Of course, if I ask for what Hebrews 6 9 said, no one would know, but this one, this one, of course, Obab Kumalo la Pabai has. No, I'm kidding. Thank you for letting me know. So, Banu Ushaga sends an uncle. Sanga Bon Utoba and Ababuga the story, sir, sir, eight on a Sunday where people, yeah. Okay, so. Whenever I say I am Zulu, amen, the, the most famous king, Yama Zulu, is who? Okay, so if Utinda Asiti Shaga is still alive and active, let me say it this way, and somebody tries to mess with his subjects, this is his kingdom, these are his subjects, the people, and there's an enemy trying to mess with them. They are going against who? Shaga. Although they are coming maybe to try and kill Mamotabo, they are actually have issues with me, not Mam with Shaga, not Mamotabo, okay? So what Shaga would then do is that he would dispense his soldiers to go fight on behalf of Mamotabo, okay? So if Bonak Ale Nazuti, there is a certain... Um, invasion from the enemy in the kingdom of Zulu. What they would do historically, even now Uma kingdoms that are still quite uh, draconian, is they tell the king and the king dispenses soldiers. Okay? Uh, let me make it a bit modern. If heaven forbid, I almost made an example with Russia, I will never Baba Putin, I will never make an example with Russia. Which other country can I make that is not too dangerous? If maybe Zim, I, I don't want, this is life, I don't want problems. So if, if Zim tries to attack us, okay, the person who is alerted is the state of that, the, 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 what is called the president of the state, which is President Ubabra Mapos. And he will dispense soldiers to go fight off the enemy. Even if the enemy, if you and the people by the border. But Bab Julai cannot call a South African soldier and say, come fight for me. Same way, if we are all in the kingdom, we can't say, hey, Mabuta Shaga, go fight for us. We report to the king. And it's the king that dispenses the soldiers, you see. So it's even illegal. You can't see a soldier on the road. They're not like police. Police, you can tell them, hey, people are stealing in shop rights and you must act. A soldier, you don't even have a right to approach. It must be the president that assigns them to go help Tobek. You see that? So angels are like this. They are soldiers in the kingdom of God. When people mess with us, the subjects of Jesus, what we need to do is report to Jesus. Then it's Jesus that dispenses angels. So you can't yourself say, oh, Michael, come help me. It's illegal to call an angel. Amen. And I felt I should start here because... Otherwise, we'll get into what is called heresy theologically, where we take a certain biblical concept and we end up uh, 
misusing it before I know it. Onontando are saying, oh, thank you, Gabriel, for the message. You, ca you can't interact with the angel. The angel can come and interact with you. If the angel is there and speaks to you, you can then respond. That's biblical. But biblically, no one has ever summoned an angel. It's illegal. It's not your soldier. So when I'm a parameter, you don't have a legal right in the spirituals to summon an angel. You say, Jesus, help me. And Jesus responds through his soldiers, his foot soldiers, which are angels. Now, what are angels? I'm almost done. In Greek, it's angelon. Angelon. It's angelon. In Hebrew, it's malachav or malachav. I know they probably pronounce it as malachav, but my my throat. So it's malachav. M l a m a l a c h a z. Okay, that's the Hebrew. Both of them mean the direct translation, whether you say it in Greek or Hebrew, of an angel is a messenger. That what that is what an angel is. It's a messenger. Okay. Hebrews chapter 1. So, go to verse 14. I'll just skip all the other verses. So, even now scholars are not sure who wrote the book of Hebrews. Others say it's Paul. Others say it's Peter. Others say it could be any other of the apostles or the disciples. Uh, I personally don't believe it's Paul, but July. Paul has a certain style of writing, okay? The, the writer to the Hebrews is a, a Hebrew of Hebrew. You can see they are very traditional. They've still held on to deep uh, 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 Judaism mysteries and deep Hebrew. Uh, by the way, it's not every Jewish person that is a Jew, by the way. But it's fine. We don't need to get into that. So, Hebrew, they, they were deep in Hebrew. They had received the light that is Jesus and they are teaching mysteries of Jesus but they are still a bit elementary. Paul is clear in all the books that he has written. He, he kicks in Daba. I say he, he, he kicks it. But anyway, so the writer of the book of Hebrews, okay, the Hebrews here had problems. They had serious problems. What was their problem? Uh, they used to summon angels. There are certain apostles called super apostles that came to them and started teaching them uh, Ubuti, they are angels, which is a good teaching. They must know they are. They have these foot soldiers, Ugunugule's dispense. But they didn't tell them this information I just gave in two minutes. Ubuti, you can't summon an angel. So as a result, they loved Jesus. They had moved to Jesus' camp. They had left this ideology that God is just for the Jews, but they had come into true salvation. But their issue was when times of trouble come, they, they call upon angels. Michael, Michael sees. And those things, what they were doing, they were committing illegalities. As a result, some of them started becoming sick. Some of them started uh, becoming sick, some started dying prematurely. So uh, they did a whole lot of things as well. Okay, because some of them within the pure Hebrews, there were those who were pagans, Bab July. Do you know Molek? It's the God that required human sacrifice. That required Ingani, that is. If you want to be rich in Molek's economy, you give birth to a child, and the child, you pass it through a fire, and the child is a sacrifice to Molek, and then you become rich. Or you have rain if there has been a famine, okay? So, so that's why the spirit of abortion, physical abortion, is called Molek. Because it's Molek who's interested in killing young children, babies that is not even children. Amen. So, the, the, that's why if you, tra if you travel with Hebrews uh, and you go to, is it Hebrew, but maybe six, you find Paul, well, the rights of Hebrews, I apologize, saying things like, uh, by now you ought to be teachers, but I still need to teach you the elementary things. The scripture had opened last Wednesday. 
By now you should be teachers. Then in Hebrews 9 and 10, you find then the rights of Hebrews saying, the blood is no longer possible for the blood of bulls to atone for you. Jesus died once and for all. And through the, the conduit of his blood, we are able to access God. The, 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 the blood of bulls, the blood of goats, the blood of even babies, it's not possible. It's only the blood of Jesus. Jesus that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. That is Hebrews chapter 12 verse 24. So I'm trying to demonstrate to you that these guys had a variety of issues. The Hebrews, they had different problems. But your Kale in Kinga is the issue of angels, they summoned angels. So in Hebrews chapter 1, the entire chapter, uh, when Zanjain Umbaloma Hebrew, he is educating them about what angels are. He is telling them about the supremacy of Christ. It's just that there's no longer time and I want to pray. Uh, what he did, what, what, what the writer of the Hebrews did, he started saying in the foundations of the world, Jesus was as the word, okay? Uh, all angels came to assist the dispensation of the word of God, which is Jesus. So angels are mere to assist. They, are, they cannot take the place of Christ because they would now pray to angels. Why does the Holy Spirit want to do this to me? If you are in a Catholic church, you are praying to a dead saint. That is demonic. Okay. So they were doing something similar where they would take a itombe of angels or what they perceive angels to be. Because some believers did truly see angels. So they would draw them. And they would make pictures. Buzz hang and Jerome Maria to well and no more. Oh, look, look, was a lab. Nan in Nazo. So they would hang them. Ninazo. Oh, but you see, Unazo put ticket. So, 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 basically, he consent. So they would hang them. And when they pray, they'd say, Oh, maybe Gabriel, because Gabriel gives information. Please tell me what it is God wants. They no longer mention Jesus. So in Hebrews chapter one, Ubachel Guti. Jesus is greater than angels. To whom has God ever said, you are now my son forever, except Jesus, not angels. Then in verse 14, he finally closes the chapter on making them understand you only pray to Jesus and Jesus is far superior than angels by this to explain what angels are simply. He says, are they not, read the, the, the scripture, read the projector, are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for those who will inherit salvation. Who will inherit salvation? It's us. We will inherit salvation. Do you see there as well? It's not that we are saved. We are yet to be. We, we covered it on Sunday. Remember? This is just another scripture verse. We are sinned this one. Biblically. We are sinned this one. At the second coming of Jesus, little Bible in Hebrews, what is it? What, what scripture had we opened? In Hebrews 9, uh, I forgot the verse. He will not be coming for sins, but for salvation. So you see that the salvation train will be completed at the second coming, okay? So we are the ones who will inherit this salvation of Jesus. Amen. So in this paragraph, which is the emphasis we learn three things that angels are spirits that's the first thing you must know about angels they are spirits just like god the bible in john 4 i think it's 24 it says for god is spirit god is spirit okay even demons are spirits even angels are spirits so that's the first thing we learn about angels. They are spirits. The second thing we learn is they are ministering spirits. So they are ministers. They are ministers. What are ministers? Ministers are servants. Okay. Ministers are servants. And three, where's the scripture? Why am I seeing myself? Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth? to minister for those who will inherit salvation one they are spirits two they are ministers but three they are sent forth they are sent 
you see this now Bob July if I was what I was trying to explain all as we begin today is just the beginning it's just a mere introduction of the ministry of angels it's that what I was saying was soldiers cannot unilaterally say they, they, they have to be sent by the head of state or the king of the kingdom so they are sent forth by who by God to go help tea now who will inherit salvation do you now understand that's the simplest way that's why the word in the Bible both Hebrew and Greek for angel is messenger meaning a sent one okay let me prove this with one more scripture uh, Psalm 103 verse 20 Psalm, Psalm, Psalm 103, verse 20. I believe that's the right scripture. Bless the Lord, you his angels, who excel in strength. Okay, angels are strong. Who do his word, heeding the voice of his word. Do you see that? The original text, therefore, word is not word as in the Rema or the Logos or as in Jesus, the word. It's the instruction there. Who heed or who listen, who listen to the voice of his instruction. His there is capitalized, meaning God. Okay. So angels are strong. They are. They excel in strength. They're not just strong, but they excel in strength. The strength of angel varies from what the angel is sent to do. Let me use Gabriel, an archangel, an archangel. If you study the Bible, whenever you see Gabriel, there's a news, there's an information about to be uh, transmitted to the recipient from God. Amen. So Gabriel does not necessarily excel in brutal strength, but he excels in understanding that and decoding a message from God and delivering it. That is Gabriel's strength, okay? Then Michael, on the other hand, yeah, now he excels in strength and actual brute. Now, Michael, champion of David. He is strong. Amen. But he is strong. In fact, those who see him in the Bible, they see him carrying a big sword. Amen. Michael is the captain of the armies of God. So if there are soldiers there, so not all angels are soldiers, we know this, eh? There's a hierarchy and a rank of angels. Seraphim, cherubim, archangel, ministering angels, the ones that come here on earth, cherubims can't come here on earth. The only cherubim that is here on earth is who? Lucifer. Be because he wanted to be like God. He could not understand rebuke. He could not understand. He didn't know why everybody's bound to this guy. He's great. I'm also great. Look at me, okay? So he was cast down. That's the only cherubim. You, you, you get that? Are you with me? So the, there's a, the first three layers, or the first two layers, I'll teach it next week, though, not today. They, they don't come here. They, they minister in heaven, okay? So there are different departments of angels. And in the department of soldiers, the captain is Michael. When God has a problem, he sends Michael and his soldiers. Okay? We see in Revelation chapter 12, it says, Satan, there was a war in heaven. Go to Revelation chapter 12. Let's actually look at it. I'm just generally teaching about basic principles of angels. Before we get to the nitty gritties, okay? Uh, maybe... You can begin at verse 12. Let's find out. Uh, verse 7. Begin at verse 7. And war broke out in heaven. Okay? War broke out where? This is now how it happened when Lucifer... Lucifer did not leave heaven uh, in a free will, by the way. He, he, he wanted to stay. So I know your hand is like, no, no, I don't think so. La Pusho, a third of angels are begging him. God is like, mm -mm, your hand is like, no, okay? Then God is like, I, Michael, we have a problem. Michael comes. He's protocol one of God. There's always someone who's next to me here. I never ask them. They come and protocol me. Amen. So that's who Michael is. Amen. I engage with who Michael protocol is. I rank He's a physical protocol person lately. So that's who Michael is, the protocol one. So Satan, God is like, you are living. Satan is like, I'm not. 
God is like, okay, Michael, please come forward. So, and war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought with the dragon. And the dragon and his angels fought. So they fought. This is the account of the expulsion of Lucifer in heaven. Come back. This is not even part of my teaching. I just want to show you. Okay. But they did not prevail. Lucifer or the dragon and his angels did not prevail. Nor was a place fun for them in heaven any longer. You see that? to find out who this dragon is so the great dragon was cast out that serpent of old called the devil and satan who now deceives the whole world he was cast out to the earth and his angels were cast out with him do you see that do you see that so satan lucifer is no match for jesus jesus didn't even want to get his hair dirty he, he just called his protocol one to expel this guy. So, in heaven, okay, must, must I get a bit deeper? Oh, it's fine. Let me, let me just do an introduction, eh? Did I hear deeper? I was hoping, I was hoping I'll, I'll hear that. Musani, let's go deeper, mama, eh? Kanjitan prophet, you can, ungatu and then we can close, Okay. Go to Jude chapter 1. Go to Jude chapter 1. I want to show you into your ranking gang. Hello, okay? I want to show you. I was on verse 9. I believe it's in verse 9. I'm just trying to find it. Just go to verse 9. Yeah, yeah, it is verse, verse 9. Praise God. Now, in heaven, when Lucifer, the angel, who's a class of angel called cherubims, was fighting, the person they called was Michael, who by rank is a bit below, right below Lucifer. Because cherubims rank higher than archangels. Amen. But yet, Bengmela expel we, wabizwa u Michael. Amen. Because he was in heaven in an atmosphere powered by God. And the Bible says he prevailed. Amen. But let's see in the rank Ishayu Michael here on earth. Yet the Michael, the archangel, contending with the devil when he disputed about the body of Moses, dared not to bring against him a reviling accusation, but said the Lord rebuke you. Okay, let me, let me simplify this. Holy Spirit, please help me. Please help me, Holy Spirit. How do I do this now? The Lord wants me to minister to you right now. Amen. Just let me allow five minutes, then I'll close. Lord, I'm not being disobedient. Amen. So, in heaven, remember in Revelation 12, 7, what happened? When Lucifer was fighting with Michael, who won? It's Michael, saints. We saw, and Satan was then cast down. But... When, now Moses died, remember Moses died, do you know who killed Moses? God took Moses out. Moses was disobedient, God said, I can't work with you like this. He took him out and raised Joshua to the one who thinks they're irreplaceable. Oh, but it's fine. It's okay. No, no, I'm serious. I mean, I can't go against the I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to God will bring 10 more people for you who left. So God took Moses out, okay? Now, in order for Moses to rise at the second coming of Jesus, they needed the body of Moses. What he feel? Lucifer did not want Moses to rise when Jesus comes, okay? So he wanted to steal the body of Moses, okay? Some of you have never heard this, but it's what happened. Here it is in scripture. So God then sends Michael Amen. When Michael gets there, he's not disillusioned by the fact that he once fought the same guy, the devil, and won in heaven. Amen. Why did he win in heaven? Although Lucifer outranked Michael, why did he win? Because it was in an environment charged by God. God was present. But here on earth, Michael. 
So let's see by bail, because he understood Reg, he did not dare bring a, an accusation against him. But instead, he used the name of someone who had ranked Lucifer, which is the spirit's name, Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus rebukes you. You, you, you understand this? So angels work by order and protocol. Amen. It, it's not that where a church, it, 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 and many pastors go say, I have this problem. And I'm praying by the mercy of God, I never have to deal with it. Uh, I know genuine men and women of God, uh, Isaac, Ababiz, Wangama cults. Why? Because they've just sought protocol of rank. So why you are just occultic? Why when we are clapping, we must always stand for you? And yes, this is what you saying. Why? Jalo, you are so good. Kai, you rank, you rank, yes. That's why when Apostle Duma comes in, even if she just talks in the manje for three minutes after the pants, our lives are changed. Why? You rank, you rank. Manje, we are in a generation that doesn't understand rank. They, they don't understand rank. They, they think you are equal. We are going to be fine. We are going to be fine. Kona want to bat tinta yo bed to bed Eloise to me lo yo kodi. Kona futo bat tinta yo obona sa ulonga zala ngai. I kaba. I'm not being funny. Amen. Kusuge gui rank. So Michael was like, mm -mm, I, I can't rebuke Satan in the earthly environment. God is not an environment that is charged by God. Remember what the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter four. It says, for Satan is the god of this world. So la emsha beni rule satan. So Michael understood, I'm in foreign territory, okay? I want one by luck in him. It wasn't by luck, it was by the divine presence of God. But here, that's why when we cast out demons, we can never do it in our own names. Demons will crush us all. We have to do it in the name of Jesus Christ because there's no one who addresses the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Here is something I want to leave you with as I'm closing. I'm seriously closing now. Go to Ezekiel. The first thing you must learn about angels, and it's the only thing I'll talk about now in the next two minutes, and we'll close. All else we'll find out next week, is that angels are God's agents. Angels are God's agents, okay? They are able to protect on behalf of God, and they are also able to execute judgments on behalf of God. Uh, the most common scripture of angels being agents of protection, go to Psalm chapter 91, verse 11. We love talking about this. Eh? For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. Okay? Verse 12. In their hands they shall bear you up lest your foot uh, uh, dashes against the stone. Okay? We love the scripture. Nami, I proclaim it. Amen. I love proclaiming it. Uh, can, I even say, Lord, can you dispense? I can't command the angels myself. It's illegal to guard me. But I have to say, Lord, can you dispense your angels to carry me up in their hands? Okay? But also angels, either than being protective for people, they are also protective against people. They are able to protect us in those angulungul against the band. In Genesis chapter, what chapter is it? Three, verse twenty-four. After Adam and his Adam and his wife, uh, the woman Eve, after they partook in the fruit, the tree of life had to be guarded against them with an angel. You see that. So, not only will angels come and protect you for God, but they'll also protect sacred things ag against you. Yeah, but. So, he drove out the man. God drove out Adam. And he placed a cherubim, uh, one of the highest ranking angels, okay, at the east of the Garden of Eden. The Garden of Eden, by the way, by the way had gates. Remind me on Sunday to tell you about the gates because in paradise, the word paradise, paradiso in Greek also means a garden. So it's a state of rest which also has gates. Uh, depending on the gates and the gates, but we we'll look at scripture on Sunday. And a flaming sword, okay. So God drove out Adam and Eve and he placed the cherubim at the east of the Garden of Eden and a flaming sword which turned every way to guard the, the tree of life, the way to the tree of life. Do you see that? So God had to protect something, something sacred against Abandu. 
sometimes in gelose I sent to protect Fanane altar. Langulungu, langisho je just here. In a good, healthy church, yabo that is charged by the presence of God. A wazu kangi altar. A aukwazi. U umshambo ungasha uke susa tuzala. Yabo. Why? Because there's an angel that must protect the actual altar of God. You see that. Kona na bahantu have become altars that God protects using angels with big swords. If you want to try play games against the ma, ingilo si veli keep a sword. Kube nga tu shai so imo, tu kanti ingilo si veli a keep a yad. Yabon. I've had dreams where Satan is trying to afflict us la, and there's an angel that stands there with a sword and just does this. And all else just flees. There are families that are guarded by this type of angels. Where, when Satan witches you are from a village, you know in that village, witches fly in every direction. But when they want to come over your household, they, they just do, do, do quickly a serial GPS. I need to do a, a detour because I can't go over Kwazungu. But there's an angel with a sword. So there's a type that stands with swords to guard the sacred things of God. Then they are, by the way, look at this to guard the way to the tree of life. It, the angel doesn't just guard the actual tree of life. It guards the way to the tree of life. Oh, I, let me leave it. Let me leave it. Let me leave it. Let me leave it. Let me go. In, in, they guard the way to the tree of life. So not only do they guard the sacred thing of God, even the way to it. So if you are full of sin, do you know why when you are living a sinful life, it's hard to pray and reach God? God is the tree of life. The way to him is prayer. That's why you can't pray. You can't even pray when, when you are sinning because there's an angel even guarding the way to reach God. Oh, you're not hearing me. Let me leave you. That's why when you are uguiso no magunzi no kuleg, babakso koninzi angis prayer is the way. The tree of life is God. So when you are in sin, you are not deserving at that time to contact God with God. Give me a house. Give. The only prayer God hears of a sinner is a prayer of repentance. If it's not a prayer of repentance, I was no kule kutu zamut baba. Get any fe kung and zegu velu zela. Yin daba gishin shela. Eya we tree of life calling gelos. Prayer is a privilege. Prayer is a privilege. I know you abuse. Prayer is a privilege. To the tree of life. It's not everyone who has the privilege to just pray. If you think I'm lying, try, try in your sinful state and pray. In within two seconds, you'll be asleep. Why? There's an angel. The only time that angel gives you leeway to go partake in the way to the tree of life is when you say, I need your mercy. I have sinned. That's the only time. Shele lila, hijali basole he, zika nuka nuta ane tanezi, zila lele lele, zila le zila le lele he, zila le babo zile. Ezekiel nine, Ezekiel nine, Ezekiel nine. Let me close like this. I'm trying to give you a taste of the mysteries of God. Do you know why when your heart is bitter and you're not for, you haven't forgiven people or you are envious, it's not easy to pray. Why? Because it's the guarded way to the tree of life. That's why when your heart isn't right, you will babble in tongues, you'll feel it. Hey, this thing is hitting the ceiling and coming back. Why? There's an angel guarding even the way. Because prayer is sacred. It's only for those through righteousness can make utterances to the tree of life, which is God, the great monarch of Zion. That's why by belief, if you are angry at someone, you will first need to go leave even your offering at the altar. You will approach why? approach right. You will be able shaka patata. So nothing is happening now. You will ask. I've been in this state. I know. In fact, money Yin and they enter the sons of Skiva in Acts chapter 9. Betty, we rebuke you in the name of the Jesus that Paul preaches. Jesus was right. 
but the problems they didn't have access to the way to utilize the name. That's why in your sinful state, you start, you start rebuking demons. They laugh at you and slap you. Why? The way is guarded by an angel with a big sword. You can't just misuse it. It's a way. It's a, when you see somebody walking in godly authority, they've mastered the path, the way to the tree of life. Okay, Ezekiel 9. Look Shilate Izane Matola. I promise you, I'm not wasting your time. We are on. Kono is why. You see, I'm tender, man. Kono is why. Ashas will have to assist. Shele, help her. Help her. Shele, Lila. Ikane Nesiate. Ikane Bosiate. Ezekiel 9, chapter, chapter 9, verse 1. Hilale. I feel I feel an angel touching me now. She is a Hinanina Suna is a Hinanisa is a lady. Sipa Telebosia Sia Tilese. Allow me to allow me to close with the scripture. And show you what angels do. Don't get distracted. Listen to the word. So when we pray, the Lord can assist you as well and you can send an angel. Okay. Then he called, he being God, called out in my hearing, Kuluma, the prophet Ezekiel, with a loud voice. Ezekiel was actually a priest. And with a loud voice saying, let those who have charge over the city draw near each with a deadly weapon in his hand. At this time, Israel is living in deep sin, in deep, bad sin, okay? Then, then what happens is, God calls the watchers of the city. They are angels that have put in charge of territories. They bow up to the angel in Lydosha, to the angel in, 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 in whichever other city in Philippi. It was referring to an angel of the territory and the actual angel of the house, which is the priest. But anyways, Ingelosi, okay, that have charge that the Uti, those who have charge over the city draw near to beg with a deadly weapon. Ubi Zingelosi, who has given charge over the city Jerusalem, and suddenly six men came from the direction. If you study your lexicon, that man there is not Umuntofana Minanawe, it's angels, it's angelic beings. They came from the direction of the upper gate which faces the north, each with a battle axe in his hand. The petting came, Balenki knows, okay? One man among them was clothed with linen and had a writer's ink horn. In other words, why a pen in his side, okay? And they went and stood. The Lord asked for angels about God that they sit here, draw back. Bafiga ke pela be pete their weapons, okay? Hey, oto ye petu ink. Buga aguguti le petu ink enzan. And he called to the men clothed with linen, the angel with the writer's ink horn. In other words, why petty pen and ink horn, he pen of the time, Quebec. And the Lord said to him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and put a mark on the foreheads of the men who sigh and cry over abomination that are uh, uh, over the abominations that are done within it. So Utenungulugul. Gifuna Lengelosas figure as six. Gifuna yoto le petty pen. Eo dweba bonk abasakala yo begwenze abomination. Ukonduksi, whenever there is evil and they still cry and speak against it. Abantabang al sabi sazo. Abal show yon juzin da bema jo zayik. Yabon, and people who are not scared to call out what is wrong. Uti melu bafagu paula. Okay? Yin dava mele bafagu paula. The ones who are still standing for God's righteousness. Go to verse five. To the others, he said to them, Lava who are carrying weapons, go after him through the city and kill. Do not let your eyes spare nor have any pity. Come back. Utterly slay old and young men, maidens and little children and women. But do not come anyone near. Do not come near anyone on whom there is a mark. And begin at my sanctuary. The abomination in Israel at that time was so bad 
ukuthi kwase kwenzeka yonke imkhuba kwase kuhlahlelwa zonke ithiqo amadoda eselalana yonke intempi yayisiyenziwa khona and there were only a few who were still calling out what is wrong and saying it's wrong and god said i will send an angel to mark them if you are here and you are still standing for the truth there's an angel that consistently marks you then to the other angels carrying weapons it's not satan who said go kill god himself said you must go and start slaying those abanga salimele iqiniso they are mine they are born again god iqiniso sebe yansheba basaba bantu let them be slayed You'll keep thinking it's Satan when there's an angel that has been assigned to teach you the ways of God. But uthi inkulunkulu ukuthi but begin at my sanctuary. In other words, qala ebandleni lami. Ingilo sasingaphumzi engaphandle ziyo judge asingaka judge. I judgment sizoqala ngasilendlini. Kodwa laba banomakhi. Laba banomakhi. When calamity strikes, khona ingilo semeduze kwabo nepheni. When the truck you are on the highway and it comes straight to you kuba khona ingilo osevela ukufaka uma ke truck ivela ihlona ishayise lomunye When you are walking at night and the guys who are robbers they want to take your phone vele qhamuka ingilo osi kushaya uma ke i robber ivela ibe confused ingabona nokuthi khona umuntu owesifaza nohamba yedwa When demons sense through the conduits of witchcraft when devil worshipers sense through the pits of high days and they want to destroy you and destroy your family bomeli qiniso i righteousness ukhona ingilo osevela ikufaka umakhi I don't know how many near accidents have been each time in both la I'm definitely bracing for impact vele nje imoto yathi siqonda kumini vele ishona eqeleni indaba khona ingilo osevela ingifaka umakhi But it's not for anyone and everyone. It's for laba abameli iqiniso. Kunengilo siyabo. Ngiqonda ukuthini sengivala. Ulimele iqiniso. Whether it's popular or unpopular, speak the truth. Do not allow people to slumber. Because if you don't speak the truth, when calamity strikes there'll be no angel to mark you. Please stand on your feet. Shikele Lord, we've begun a mere introduction of angels. Can you allow others to see angels? Can others feel angels? Can others smell angels? Can, can others feel angels? If you are interested in experiencing angels sicelele nawukhuleke sicelele ukhuleke asho sibe ready others will best in a prophetic dance shinelile lesila thele silelila lesele thalethe ethapori phathele
this. Do you not know in Genesis the Bible says, eh, Jacob saw the heavens open and angels were ascending and descending. That means there's an open portal whenever there are angels. There's an open portal to heaven. But we are praying. Some believers are just looking at me. So maybe you didn't hear me. I'll repeat. Let's pray because I'm not just saying let there be angels just for fun so we can experience them. It's because there are certain deposits being made. And when I'm ready, I'm going to descend and start touching those that are receiving deposits.
deliverance. If you need deliverance of any kind, I don't just mean from demons. If your heart is not right with God, if you can be honest, I am saying to you there cannot be any advancement unless your heart is right. Any form of deliverance, fear, anxiety, rejection, whatever spirit influencing you, your thoughts, there's an angel for it. What does this angel do? Usually when it comes, it, you feel heat in your body. Okay, it's here. Let's pray for one minute. Ask for deliverance. Let them be delivered. Jesus name, send fire, send fire. I said holy 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 fire. Shatalate.
the giant has speed. There's an angel for speed and for acceleration. The, just the, there's an angel for speed and acceleration. There's an angel for speed and acceleration. Is it does a cost of kitchen? Is it does a cost of kitchen? Jesus name shata kata. Sekatera pete pete pete. Sekata sekata. Sekata pete pete. Live for 
prophetically laugh, protect, prophetically smile, <laughs> prophetically dance. Whether you see an angel or not, just prophetically say, Lord, I partake. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
10 has stolen their finances and stolen their joy. There's an angel here to restore. To restore your finances, restore your joy. In the Lord, restore your peace. Let's just pray. Lord, in five seconds, can those ordain for restoration? Can you let them know you are now restoring them? Only those who have ordained. In the next five seconds, Lord, restore them. One, two, three, four, five. Restore, Lord. Restore, Lord. Restore, Lord. Restore, Lord. demonstrates. You need to be able to chat a bit about the word, dissect it, then demonstrate. He's trying to prove in some people's hearts that to call now he's real and he wants to testify about July. But if you are in right standing in me, whatever you teach about, I will confirm with mighty power. Send Kuluma even to the ministers. Jablan, this is for you young people. It's not good that you you are preaching machines back to life, land you. But you, you can show. You need to be able to show that the God you speak of is real. Aya, but. Ayata. You need to be able to demonstrate. So the Lord wants to show us what Ingelos is called. And He truly has sent them. He has sent them for our benefit. In environments like this, you can choose to be two things. One, you plug in by faith until you tap into the grace. Or you just become a spectator and your heart is hardened and your heart says, mm, I don't know about this. Do you know why you don't know about this? It's because very many people no longer operate in the sheer authority and power of the Old Testament church in the book of Acts. It's up to you. Why am I speaking like this? We only have two minutes, then I sit down. There's an open portal to heaven. Whatever you ask, God says he shall grant it. 
so you can continue being a spectator, it's fine. It, it, it doesn't face me. But the Lord of mercy is saying, I must just warn you to say, tap in. There's an open portal.
tears. He's wiping away your tears. It's environments wow. like this where he decides to be merciful and visit us divinely to demonstrate his word. But more than anything, I genuinely hear, I hear speed one, and two, I hear that he's wiping away your tears. If you believe in what, is God, is, what God is saying, and you believe it's God speaking to you, I want us to give him a wave offering. I want us to give him a praise offering. I'm going to count to three. I want us to give the shoutest, the loudest shout, the loudest hallelujah. Are you ready, saints of God? One, two, three. Okay. But first we will shout. After shouting, run and seal. Amen. If you trust in God for you, you can shake my hand. There's nothing special about my hand, it's just a normal hand, okay? But because the anointing of Jesus is currently on it, it's possible that you may receive a certain angishi anointing, gisho gisho authority. Okay, living an authoritative life. You can come see it. even if you don't bring something to it. If you wish, you can touch my head. There's nothing serious. There's nothing serious. Just Jesus. Just Jesus. Okay. Shapata de prete. Let's call it shout. Let's call it shout. Let's call it shout. Amen. After shouting, we can bring our Thanksgiving offering as this valley service. And uh, as we are shouting, come, thanks, seal. Uh, if you have nothing, it's okay. You can still come in faith if you need authority in your life. Amen. I, I don't know whether it's at home. Help me. I don't know whether it's at home. I don't know whether it's in business, in the economy. You want to command funds and they must locate you. I don't know. Maybe in ministry. Maybe you, you, you have... Uh, this authority is the one I carry. Those of you come let us know a pin to buoy. Get it pinned if it's a buoy. Get it pinned. Okay. So we're going to shout. After shouting, you may come. If you wish. Nothing special. It's just the authority of Jesus. Okay. Are we ready to shout? Go clean. One, two, three. Hi.
Let her casson tali broske talamante likoshe tamanta. Repete kepo shanta li broske. Ye talama ye takosha. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Holy Spirit, for such a great ministration. Siabula la simagate. Siabonga moingo elege kamaliga chesu. Lipe kosha talama ripaha. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, we give you the praise in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you, Father God, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May we all raise our hands. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Say after me, Father, in Jesus' name. As I go out tonight, everything that the Lord has said shall be established in my life. The minister of angels, I shall sense and I shall see in full operation in my life. The word spoken tonight shall be visible in my life. As I go to work, the angels shall minister for me. In the wonderful name of Jesus, I shall not struggle in anything. There shall be no struggle in my prayer life as I set my life apart to, to live for Christ. The portal of prayer to God shall be open in the name of Jesus. No more hindrances in the name of Jesus. No more limitations. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. 